Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, so, um, it's my first talk in English, so bear with me. Um, so, uh, there, are, there were a lot of uh, talks about uh, patterns, the team JSON, and full side editing. I hope you uh, saw that, and uh, if not, can always have a look at, the, uh, at YouTube to, uh, I think after the registration it will be available anyway. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about those things that are in the background, so uh, bear with me, but uh, it's, it could be very, very long, <laughs> longer than, than already is. So once upon a time, uh, WordPress introduced uh, Gutenberg, 2018, I think, something like that. And so we started to use the classic editor plugin because, because you know, uh, Gutenberg is based on something that not all the developer were used to. So mostly it's, it's a matter of habit. So now we kind of like Gutenberg for some reasons, uh, but still, React is, eh. <laughs> well, I, I'm joking, meaning um, I'm one of the people that uh, develop in, in React and I like it, at least for the part uh, that is uh, connected to uh, Gutenberg, but you know, uh, it should be easier than this, I think. Uh, and generally speaking, React has a, a learning curve very steep, so, you know. So, what are we going to do now? We have this nice, very nice uh, backend. We can do a lot of things, but, but. Uh, so, this presentation is about how you can set up a um, um, local environment easily with something that uh, is um, developed by WordPress and uh, automatic. It's not the same thing, of course. And uh, uh, you can s start playing around and do a mess uh, in your local environment so you don't break anything. And when you're finished, you will have your new website and you can export the team and that's it. But you need some tools for that. So the first one, it's Docker because uh, I'm not talking about what is Docker, how you install it, you will have to, sorry, <laughs> have to look at it after the presentation. Uh, in, in the end, there will be a URL um, at uh, a GitHub rep repository, and there's everything uh, that I'm talking about now, all the links, etc. So you will find also Docker. Docker is a container a manager, I don't know if you know already Docker, can you? Okay, uh, half, okay, well, that's good. Uh, not JS, of course, now that's, that's obviously uh, necessary. And uh, the same, uh, you should, these tools are something that you can install at first and then you forgot about them completely. It's not a big deal. And of course, Git. Git in this case, uh, also because you, you can download or clone the repository that are prepared for you. And so this is the WordPress AMP is the uh, ready to use way to uh, launch an, uh, um, an instance of any website. It's really a, a very powerful tool. Uh, you can install, in this case, the, that is the command for installing it globally. If you want, you can install it locally. So every um, uh, local instance has, is installed, if you want. It's your choice. So uh, how do you use that? So let's say you uh, clone or download this repository, 
And so you have to use also uh, a terminal uh, command line, any command line, uh, and type wp dash env, sorry, wp dash, yes, I'm sorry about that, uh, wp hyphen and space start, and that starts the environment. It takes a little time because what does, uh, what this does, essentially it downloads all the images for Docker uh, with WordPress, PHP, MySQL, whatever you need to start a local environment. So usable command for the WPM, start and of course stop, to stop the environment. Of course, you want to use stop, believe me, because Docker, yeah, it's kind of a vampire. And then clean all, clean all, use it carefully because it just uh, delete everything, every customization you did on the database. So, but you can, sometimes you need to do that. Install path, uh, uh, it gives you the information where the WordPress installation is located on your computer. It's some kind of a hash, and uh, it's usually in a folder uh, somewhere in your system, so it's not easy to, to find it. Uh, and so this is very useful, too. And uh, run CLI. Run CLI, of course, uh, it's also installed the uh, WP CLI, uh, the command line of WordPress. So you can use all the commands. But you have to start with WP have then WP core update, plugin updates, minus minus so so on. What if you know how to use the command line for uh, WordPress? You know what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> this environment comes with uh, a file that is called. Well, sorry, I'm talking rubbish. Uh, Essentially, you can use this file, so you have to set it up from scratch. It doesn't come with the installation. Uh, this dot WPM JSON, uh, what does, this is uh, something very useful because you can, as you can see here, you can uh, set up the core, so you could use a specific uh, core version I don't know, if you want to, for example, I used to uh, update my plugins. Um, so uh, you can use a beta or um, a C or whatever. In this case, it's not. So it means that it download every time you do WP uh, hyphen uh, and start, it downloads the latest version of WordPress in this case, okay? Also, themes and plugins, same, same thing. Uh, it will download the latest version of the plugin or theme unless you give, the, give this string, you say, okay, I want this specific version of that stuff. Okay, I started with the 2024 because I don't know if you know that, but when you start uh, an environment like this, um, you will see the white screen of death. So, because it doesn't recognize which theme is uh, referring to. And if you don't have the uh, latest, uh, the default one, uh, it could be, uh, well, frustrating. We don't want that. So, that's one. The other one is, called block base, and uh, the name tells everything, because it's a base of a team that is um, based on the blocks. Uh, so it's a full site editing, and uh, has some special things that I'm, I'm going to show you. Then, plugins. Uh, query monitor, use it uh, always, always, if you're um, developing locally, it's better to have something that tells you you're going 
you're doing it wrong. That's <laughs> kind of a message that comes often. And um, create block theme, it's another plugin that is really useful because you can create easily um, a copy of the team you're working on or a child of the team you're working on and there are other options. Uh, it's really, really useful. Again, uh, this is the same file. Uh, one thing that I um, think is really useful is to have uh, the mappings. The mappings, uh, in this case, we are going to say, I, I, I want the WD content uh, in a specific place. In this case, it's the same, exact same uh, repository. But of course, you should, you should have uh, an ignore um, uh, line that says to ignore this content, of course. But it will be uh, very useful because you can, you can see themes and um, uploads and whatever, okay? But the, the very uh, nice thing is you can specify a port. So it's local host always, but uh, think about if you want to uh, work with uh, several uh, local um, environments, you can specify different ports, and that's it. And th this is very, very, very useful. And uh, of course, your limitation is always on Docker. As I said before, um, Docker is a vampire, so it uses a lot of resources. So <clears throat> but it, it depends on uh, your computer resources if you can uh, run more than one of these um, instances. And then you can specify a config. Uh, so you can say, for example, um, config in wp uh, hyphen config. So everything that you usually put in the PHP file, you can use it there. So if you want it or not, you can uh, specify there. So, as I said, um, block base, uh, it comes also with um, uh, two features that I think that are interesting. There are um, several fonts. Uh, it's a special way to include the fonts with the thin JSON. And there are uh, at least four different um, styles and you can choose whatever you want. So, as stated here, of course, uh, create block theme is not something that you will use in an, uh, a production environment, but you can use it if you are just playing around. So, the last thing is probably you should have some test data uh, also because uh, there's something particular. Uh, you, uh, every time you do a start, the database uh, port will change. That means that you should not uh, rely on the database uh, to have some specific content. It's better to, if you use dummy content. But usually, well, I work with, um, some government agency. Uh, so in my case, it's very useful not to do that because there are some uh, privacy problems. Uh, if you do that as a default, you will not um, incur in problems or whatever. So there is a thin test data or fake, fake press. That's your choice. It's just to have something to work with. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, we should have a look at what exactly, when you, you started all this, you had 
to install Docker. It's very painful if you're using Windows, particularly. Uh, but after that, you forget about this and uh, start using a command line. Sorry, just give me a second. Okay. Io? No, I, I don't. That's Kubuntu. <laughs> um. mm. Can you see? Okay, that's good. So, let's see what it does. Okay, uh, I've already started before this, so it's just uh, checking if I change anything on the WPJSON uh, file, and uh, it starts everything. And this is what you will see when you, oh, okay. So, as you can see, this is the port that I decided to use. It's not something that you have to do, but you know, can be useful. And uh, as you can see, there is the 2024 um, team, so the default. So if I want to see how it works, another plugin uh, team, sorry, in this case, block base. Okay, so block base is very, 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 very basic. Okay, so it's a black canvas, essentially, okay? It's very useful because you can do anything with this, not just what they want to, you to, to do like the 2024. So one thing that I find very useful about this team is the team fonts. There are a lot of it, okay? In this case, these, this is the plugin that I was talking about before. And it shows you all the fonts and you can remove them. These fonts are in a folder, so in a local folder. So you don't have to, I don't know, get it from Google or download or whatever. You have already or everything here. And if you go to a page, for example, and uh, I know. You can see, maybe it's uh, okay, that you have all your phones here, somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, these are the mentions. Please help me if I'm family. Yes. Sorry. Yes. It wasn't so difficult before. Yes. Okay. So. And that's it. Okay. You can do that globally. You can do that locally. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to try and <laughs> be a little more fast because I wanted to show you this. Uh, wait. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a create block day. So you can export the team. You can create a child. You can clone the 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 team you're using. Uh, you can overwrite it. Uh, you can create a blind team or a style variation. Okay, what is a style variation? Okay, if we go on the site and try to edit it, it also comes with, if I can find it. Why did you change everything? Different, different uh, styles, okay? 
these are again a JSON file. So it's quite easy. If you want to create a set of colors, for example, you can just do that. It's really, really, really easy. So uh, I wanted to show you also um, the theme that I've pre prepared for you. But, and what does it does? But I don't have to, time to go through the code. But essentially, this is the result. Oh, yeah, of course. If I don't bear with me. Okay. Okay. The first one is a core paragraph. If you can see, it's in a, in a different category. Okay. They are called WordCamp. Can be useful. Uh, you can group together all the all the um, blocks that the client use usually for example the punchline header and the swf player are variation block variation essentially you declare ah oh, sorry you declare can you see it more or less. Um, you say, okay, I want uh, to uh, make a different, slightly different block that is from the file. Okay, so you declare a core file, and then you say, I want it to the, in the uh, worker category. I want to totally SWF player. I give it a name, I give it a an icon, I say in this case, that is the default. So by default, there will be this variation, not what usually uh, WordPress show you. And uh, well, there is uh, every block, core blocks has its attributes. Uh, of course, there is the guide in the um, WordPress documentation. It's very, it's very, well, it's uh, updated often, so um, you can find all the attributes here. The file is one of the uh, most easy um, and short. So, for example, you can display or not the preview or show the download button. <coughs> I can show you how it works. In this case, Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. I was going to. Yeah. This is a very old um, uh, flash. Uh, I am using um, uh, a JavaScript that emulates the, the player. And I was very happy when I found it. <laughs> so I wanted to show you too. Uh, sorry, but if you want to, if you have any questions, I need to stop here. Merry Christmas. <laughs>